morning everybody and welcome back to Tony Stop Tips Workshop. Um, it's just um, a quick video. It's, I'd come across a problem. It's, well it's not a problem, it's something that Sane Smart for the CNC 4040 Pro should have really thought about. Is I work with the offline controller and I work with the MPG and along with the 4040 the combination the three absolutely brilliant to work with um, I don't find problems with it it's ease of setup everything about it I just like it how I've got them connected but unfortunately with the offline controller you get a very very short lead and unless I had a somewhat of a makeshift bracket at the other side on um, on top of the control box which did its job but it you couldn't see it from every angle and it it, it didn't justify um, the short lead that they'd supplied for such a good controller I mean the MPG has a long extendable lead and uh, why they've never chose to do uh, a good ex you know length lead on the offline controller I don't know it's something that Saint Smart wants to think about um, but I'll show you the, the how I've solved the problem and it's absolutely works brilliant um, it's a 3d printed uh, item and it's it comes consists of like four pieces that's all I've done it on the bamboo labs um, only because of uh, when you're prototyping speed is of an essence um, because if you know it's not if it's gonna be wrong or you've got your design wrong at the end of it you've only you know 45 minutes 50 minutes I think one of the prints was that's about it uh, whereas on the Zortrax or the um, X Max you would have been talking about two maybe four hours for the same print so it enables you to turn things around a lot easier I'll I'll go over to the machine and I'll just show you what it is now there's lots of other people's had lots of different ideas and this this is just mine and I'm just showing you how it's best suited for me so we'll take you over to the machine and I'll show you the item right here we are at the machine as you can see the offline controller left hand side it's a short lead so you can only use it there and it's I've had it a couple of occasions where I've put it on the top and for some reason it's just sprung away and you know dropped not to the floor because it doesn't reach to the floor but it swings and hits the the uh, unit underneath um, this should have been a lot longer lead um, and it really should have been supplied with a, a bracket of some sort um, it's it would have just made what this item is the offline controller within the combination of the MPG controller absolute brilliant package um, now what I've done is as you can see there it twiddles or as we say in Yorkshire or swivels and it also moves up and down now I haven't fastened it yet to the um, actual control box it's just self adhesive on but it's okay it's quite strong enough I don't want to put any holes through and drill it so um, I'll move the machine away and then uh, I'll show you it actually in a bit better as you can see it's easy to eat a lot easier to operate I mean I did have it on top of the control box and uh, it was on top of here and and it would but it was flat so you had to look over it all the time because in the wrong light you just couldn't see the figures especially the small figures for the um, degrees of the uh, movements um, or the steps so that's the bracket I'll take you down this side as you can see there's the base I'll show you in a bit closer detail because this comes off and that's the swivel part that's bolted to that these are just two identical pieces that one and that one are the same printed on the side to give it its strength um, I could have printed them laid flat like that and worked up but the problem is then on this part here your lay lines run round 
so it isn't the strongest way to print it so you lay it down so that face and that face is on the bed this is printed separate and that's printed separate there there's a five mil um, these are three mil these are this is a five mil bolt and it's on the printer in fusion 360 it actually prints the thread in um, so on that one that goes through and that goes through you can't lift that off because it runs into a groove on the boss on the inside so you just put that nip that in until it allows you to turn but not lift it off and that's it so one part two parts three four uh, overall it took about for to print the lot and I printed them separate I could have put them all on but I wanted to design them separate print them separate make sure they were finished before I try to print them all and, and to be fair they fit together first time absolutely you know brilliant printer is the bamboo labs um, I only wish I'd have invested in it a little bit um, earlier um, but that's it so that enables me to twiddle around so you can work it from wherever around that side and the cables in it's not and, and if you look underneath there's a clip there you can see that clip I hope there my finger is that's a clip to hold the cable you must have that because this would eventually break I'm sure it would the cable so and designed it so if you put it on this end of the the control box um, when you go to home I'll just take it down to home because obviously you've got to think about whatever you put here it doesn't want to hit anything that's there there you go and I can still swiddle right round, twiddle, swiddle, swing, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And there it is. And it's quite, it's strong enough to, you know, it's, it just aids the, the setup of it a lot more. And, I, and to me, when Saint Smart develop offline controller for this and the MPG, now the MPG comes with a bracket. It's a metal bracket, it's a magnetic one, but um, you would have to put it on something else. I've got it onto the baseboard and it's hung down at the side, but um, it would be better with a bracket that you can actually clip onto the machine somewhere, you know, at the face, maybe down here somewhere, a bracket. And same with this, this should have had, this control here should have had a, an actual um, bracket that you can actually mount if you're going to purchase this. Um, but there you go that's just my way of designing it um, and I will show you the the actual uh, models on Fusion 360 um, so what I'll do now is I'll take you up into uh, my office upstairs and I'll, uh, I'll show you the um, the design right here we are at uh, Fusion 360 um, these are, um, I've shown you, it's a bit of reverse engineering really. Um, normally we'll show you this first, but I chose to show you the item up and running downstairs in the workshop. Um, these are co the components that the um, item uh, down that you've been shown in the video. Um, these are the separate components and they just all put together. As you can see, this particular um, component here is the one that goes to the top which is I've got double sided tape on and it's absolutely spot on don't move at all and that goes to the side of your control box save your drilling holes in your control box especially if it's under warranty um, this is the unit that yeah, just show you that a little bit more as you can see this has a groove in there and then this slides over the 5 mil um, cap head or whatever you want to use goes into there and it goes slightly through and into this groove 
that enables that to swivel but not pull off okay and then here you've got your two halves the, these are both identical okay the the holes there correspond with the holes there and correspond with the holes there and these holes correspond with the two holes underneath your offline controller so that's bolted to that this is bolted to your offline controller through there and then you've one 5mm bolt that runs through there and it's locked so that once you've got the tension on that you want it's double locked so that it, it just turns with it, it isn't sloppy so you can adjust it to what you want okay and that's basically the the setup of the components now I chose on the bamboo labs to print these all individual because the beauty about that is if I have done all this and then printed it all on the um, bamboo labs or any of my other printers the reason I did the bamboo labs because it's quicker and the Zortrax although it would have done a, just as good a job it would have taken far longer um, but if I'd have printed all these together and that bracket wasn't right then have to go back and print that bracket again whereas when you print each one you're only altering if you have to each one um, and it prints them that quick I did print the two brackets together because they were identical uh, and it, the print time wasn't that great I mean to print all this um, it, it was about um, 50 minutes for that about 40 minutes for that and about 40 minutes for these two so unfortunately the fit for me um, the fit for perfect first time so that's the components then obviously I put them into uh, Bamboo Studio from up here and I just had this printer on downstairs which I don't have that facility in any other printers and I just sent it to it um, I left it on the basic PLA settings I didn't alter anything the only thing I did do is I put a brim round um, and I chose to print them like like they are on here except these are printed like that on the side because it's it's it gives you a I think um, a bit more strength because it's printing round if if you put that flat this flat plate here on up the face side down then you're just ringing as I call it um, and building up layer by layer until you get to the top so I don't think there's as much strength in as it what it is is if it goes right round this however was um, printed um, on the base down um, so but it printed absolutely fine um, that's uh, the the components are just in pale basic and it's, it's they are really strong so that's the um, the design and you've obviously seen the um, unit in operation downstairs and it's just to show it's just a bit of a video just to show what what you can do when you have a printer and a CNC machine there's no reason why you can't incorporate the bo both of them together um, it's it's you know one of the advantages of being able to design your own stuff instead of actually um, paying for it um, but I feel that Saint Smart should have brought a bracket um, out that you could have used with the offline controller I mean the reason why and I did this I built this quite tall because I want the offline controller up and out of the way um, if I'd have built it near the um, the Y one of the Y gantries where the control box is if you've got any um, you know dust coming off or whatever you're doing or metal particles or what have you you want your offline control up out of the way and that's why I've done it um, the first one was a little bit lower but I thought no I'm going to increase the height so I increased the height and I feel it's a, a good height it clears everything it allows you to operate it with one hand now it's it's relatively easy so there you go there's my um, addition to my 4040 Pro right 
that concludes the video um, I've done it as I said in you know it's it's a bit of reverse engineering I haven't shown you the design and everything and the components and then um, come down into the shop I've shown it the opposite way around just for something different um, I aren't showing it printing because the bamboo labs there's plenty of people um, unless requested um, and I'll print another set off but um, you know there's enough people printing things on bamboo labs and showing it on the internet um, so I don't choose to do that unless requested um, don't forget like and subscribe and please um, let me know in your comments if you found it interesting the video uh, it helps me um, and at the end of the day it's uh, saying all my videos we're all here to learn pass us knowledge on pick information up ourselves and use it and you pass information on that, that you've learned and dealt with so until next time like and subscribe and you'll be safe be careful and bye for now